Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Uh, let's continue playing as the fabled Democratic United States in this Democracy Edition run of Point 4. Vanilla, of course. So, uh, it's 1938, it's March 1938, and of course last time, Germany, or the German Reich, hate of Austria. And we shall see what we will do next. Now, I'm so concerned a little bit about the naval aspect of what I did. I can't exactly remember what I told you what I would do at the end of last time. Why do I have so many subs here? This might have been another army that I docked. Uh, I do have... Um... I'm not sure why I have 13 out of 10. He can only operate up to 10. I mean, they are repairing. Don't get me wrong. But, all here, get rid of that. Just three. Uh, go ahead and combine. Maybe I said I was going to do something, but, I mean, obviously these guys really need to repair. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on with these guys. So... I've divided up all these guys. These are just one giant submarine fleet. These guys are, of course, the broken up destroyers, battleships, heavy ships, capital ships, light and screen ships, stuff like that. And we're just kind of building up, waiting for more of the game to kind of progress, and for us to finish up a lot of the factories that we already have. So, it is 1938. When we still have some time before war breaks out. Uh, our dockyards are currently at maximum. We need a lot more military factories as well as dockyards. I think having four civilian factories working at a time is good. As much as I want to do more with my naval stuff, I really think I need to focus more on my industry. And I'm going to avoid the coast as much as I can, but a lot of these places have absolute dog crap levels of infrastructure, which really does impact how much you can build, or how fast you can build, I should say. Wow. Uh, at least give me 60%. Oh, wait, I want to put you at the bottom because civilian factories, in my opinion, are going to be very important in the future. And I'll build some of those in Illinois. Very cool. Ooh, yeah, you guys don't have a lot of strength. Oh, God, these destroyers are nearly dead. Are you repairing or are you actually... Yeah, you guys are repairing. I guess, yeah, they're supposed to be doing it, so... Uh, what is this doing? You guys are repairing in Virginia. Well, that's all right. Uh, so I've had, of course, more time to explore with the naval meta. I was playing as Germany, and yeah, it was definitely interesting. So also, that's right. I told you guys that I would explore what these two were, whether I could convert this into a heavy cruiser. But currently, it is a light cruiser model. And I'm going to keep it as a light cruiser model because I realized that these uh, guns were designed specifically for... Uh, a light cruiser, and they are under rapid fire guns. So we currently have light cruiser batteries too. So this is a light cruiser. Uh, uh, it is a light cruiser. So, and I've already tried to max it out as much as we can with our current levels of technology. So that's very good to keep in mind. Sub holes, uh, probably not going to really do much there. These other submarines, I mean, I almost exclusively do just torpedoes at the moment. I'm not sure how good laying mines are at the moment. I've not explored that yet, I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, that's pretty much a heavy cruiser that we can rely on. Yorktown class, well, we could get more anti-air, which would lower our speed just by a little bit, but help our anti-air just by a little bit, not not a whole bunch. Oh, and actually, oh, we can't add radar yet. Anyways, all right, anyways, very cool. Oh, selective training. Well, then, so with selective training, we get more political power. Very nice. A lot more political power, but we do lose some of our Congress members to the opposition, which in this case would actually be the Republicans, which is weird how often the politics of each side can flip. Anyways, so we have finished that. I'm not really sure what exactly what I should do in terms of foci, but that's why we're here. We're learning together. Uh, we could fund the Navy, expand these guys. I want to build up my military, really, but having five more dockers would be kind of nice. Ooh. First Special Service Force. That looks pretty good. That could actually really help us for a lot of support companies as well. Down here, Land Doctor would be good. Mobilization Speed would be good. Uh, Women's Armed Service Integration Act. And then, yeah, this stuff is pretty cool as well. 
Department of Defense? Uh, I don't need the Department of Defense. I could prefer Department of War. I feel like I should do this so we can do Intervention in the Americas. Yeah, I think that would be probably be best. Execute War Plan Green. While active, get more infrastructure. Mexico attack bonus against country. Uh, let's do this. I want to see what kind of happens before we choose anything else. Oh, wait, wait. We wanted to do economic cooperation with the USSR. Uh, I'm not going to be communist, of course. But I wanted, I do want to see what the effects would be if we did that. Oh, and we want... Holy crap, we got so much support. What the heck happened? 75 senators and 369 House support. Or House of Representatives supporters. Holy cow. Uh, I don't feel bad if I do this then, so we get even more civilian factories. Special measures. Uh, it'll cost 50 political power. Actually, I think I wanted to save my political power, actually. Or maybe a theorist or so. Look at all that naval experience. Delicious. Absolute juiciness. Rocket scientists. Air warfare, which is okay. Ooh, nice. A nuclear scientist would be okay. Naval experience gain. Naval doctrine. Research speed. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. How about this? So we finished that up. It's 1938, like I said. Support companies. Can't really do that much with them at the moment. Artillery. 1938 stuff. Tanks are 1939 stuff. Yeah, artillery is 1939 stuff as well. Anti-air is okay. Actually, I've been told, or I've you know, watched other YouTubers also explain that the AI uses quite a bit of anti-air now in their divisions, so close air support and tactical bombers probably won't be as effective. That's what I've heard. I haven't tried it for myself. I haven't really noticed it, but that's something to keep in mind from here on out. Uh, this stuff is good to research, which I want to do, but I want to finish up Naval Doctrine first, because that stuff is really, in my opinion, very important. Obviously, we'll need to do some air support stuff, 1938 stuff. We can't do any more of that at the moment. And industry, well, I'm not really concerned about fuel. Rubber might be a concern of mine, but that, eh, we'll see what happens. For this submarine rating, we have a ton of subs. That'll take 116 days, and that's totally okay with me. Uh, what can we do here? Let's see, oil or synthetic research rest restriction. Ugh, I can't fucking speak today. Synthetic resources research speed and industrial research speed, electronics concern, material design, that stuff is okay. It isn't great. I always like going fighters because speed and agility are kind of, in my opinion, important. Medium, uh, actually, I really do want heavy, oh, heavy fighters get plus 20%? Actually, I might switch something to, I'll switch over to Lockheed Martin now, or just Lockheed. More reliability because... Fighters are very important, but in the end game, you have to have heavy fighters. What is this? Detroit Arsenal? That's awesome. Production cost goes way down in medium tanks. Tank destroyer board? Oh, that's a part of the foci. Reliability. Max speed reliability. Heavy tank ordnance. Well, is there anything here we can do before we move on? I don't believe so. Well, I mean, we can institute press censorship, but that, that doesn't seem very good to do since we just said it's not okay to persecute communists, which you probably should, but we'll be persecuting communists in this one, and that probably wouldn't look very good if we say don't do that. So, uh, you know what? Let's go here, and I'm going to get the... Let's see, we don't get that much air experience every day. I really want, though, uh, some land experience. That's 250. That just takes too long, in my opinion. If we can get through the air doctrine as fast as possible, that could open up other avenues, so let's do that. Let's do that. This is the first time I've ever selected the air doctrine over something else. Over, like, you know, army maintenance or something. You guys are, of course, training. You're maxed out. Man, these ships are ki literally killing themselves, trying to make themselves better. Uh, you know what? We might need a few more repair yards. Let's do that. And yeah, we took some off from the light cruisers going to Washington. Oh, integrated convoy defense. Very nice. Escort efficiency, sub detection. Awesome. Well, I only want to do naval stuff when we have extra naval XP. And we have some here. Actually, you know what? We could go for a support company. Field hospitals. Air doctrine. 149 days. We did get a little bit of a bonus to air doctrine. I always choose battlefield support. Fighter detection, air wing, mission experience gain. 
Actually, let's get some experience gain. We need that. Fighter detection. So both these are pretty good. T strategic destruction. I really don't ever bomb the living hell out of enemies' uh, infrastructure and things like that. Fighter. Oh, more agility. That's good. So air superiority. Nighttime strategic bombing penalty goes lower. Strategic bombing. Escort efficiency. Strategic bombing. Bomber defense. So air superiority. That actually sounds like a really good tree. Uh, fighter detection, air support, mission efficiency, ground support. Uh, air support, mission efficiency, close close air support, plus 20% agility, and more air superiority. Um, I really not. I don't think I'm going to be using that much close air support. I'll be using mostly tactical bombers, as well as fighters or heavy fighters. Did you bombing here? Interception, deception. Uh, yeah, this is a tree for the tactical bombers. So, ground support, fighter, air superiority, more agility for fighters. Uh, tactical bomber, strategic bombing, naval bombers, strategic bombing visibility. Uh, honestly, this doesn't sound like a very strong tree, but I'm going to select it anyways because we can, and it says this is for tactical bombers. Cool. Are we getting more man? Yeah, we are getting more manpower because we are on limited conscription now, finally. And since we have a little bit more political power, we get 1.35 a day. Representative speaks passionately in support of the government. God, we have so much support. This is almost dictatorial at this point because we can pretty much pass whatever we want. God, this is so realistic. FDR, Jesus Christ. Anyways, uh... Uh, 45 days. Yeah, we got not much else to spend on, so we'll do that. The fall, oh, the fall of Nanjing. That is not good. China, can I send you anything? Not aggression packet. Oh, can I send you an attache? Oh, I just don't have any more political power. God dang it. If I can send you, like, an attache, that'd be great. Yugoslavian fighter competition. So they're holding a trial for new light fighters. According to our air attache, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Yugoslavian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. I'd be very concerned too. So that would give us a little more air experience. Honestly, that's fine, because normally, since we're playing on a historical uh, playthrough, Yugoslavia can have that, because they usually join the Allies, and then they get overran. Oh, gotta love coffee. Feels good. All right, let's see. Yeah, continuing to build all this stuff. I would love to support the Chinese, but I have nothing here to really support them with. I'll just keep going on in time. Improved infantry equipment, very nice. Japan is flooding through China. This is kind of not good. Improved infantry equipment, 1938 stuff. Uh, that's 211 days. Yes, I did pause the game before the day went on. I did catch it that time. Uh, you know what? Let's just do synthetic refiners. I will need more rubber. I mean, we currently are in a deficit of rubber, but it's not a huge deficit, so we might as well do that for now. And this is our king, uh, basically, uh, strike force. Now, throughout time, I will uh, take some of these ships out and replace them like these light cruisers. They're not very good. A senator retires, so we lose up to eight senators, whatever. And these destroyers, they're not very good either. Even though we've upgraded them to max, we will replace these guys eventually. And I'll probably make another task force out of this main group here. And just put them into another, you know, sub fleet. How's this new Pacific fleet looking? Well, they're looking like destroyers only. Ooh, USS. US and USSR economic cooperation. No, I'm not going for the unholy alliance. Oh, I thought I paused it. Dang it. Well, that was my fault that time. Definitely my fault. Ooh. Oh, I should have done this. Rubber Reserve Company. Huh, with the eruption of war, we've lost almost all of our sources of imported rubber. Well, we're not at war yet. I don't want to take out the UK or Japan or shatter the Empire. That really isn't my thing at the moment. I want to do a Federal Housing Act, but new legislation is still being drafted, so we've got to wait, I think, a little longer and a little more while. Alright then. Well, like I said earlier, let's go ahead and get some war plan divisions. We never know what we might have to do with Mexico or anyone in Central or South America. Very cool. And, let's see. We have the U.S. USSR Economic Cooperation, limited to industry. Okay. Research opportunities. Oh, that's just going to help the USSR. God dang it. Dang it. I wanted some benefit from that. It's the only reason why you do things pretty much in real life. 
in life is to get some sort of benefit out of doing something, right? I mean, why would you, you know, go to a job and work for free? No, you want a benefit, you want to pay. Why would you come to my channel and watch my videos? Because you love me, that's why. Alright, now let's see, 15, or, well, 15 minute mark or so. Let's see, battleship, repairing. Honestly, this doesn't look too bad as far as we know. Heavy attack is okay. Piercing is okay. I mean, it is level 1 battleship. It, is, it isn't great. Let's take a quick look at how our ships are going. So we've got a carrier hole that will be done by the end of this year. Awesome. A fourth carrier. And then we'll start probably building up another uh, more modern strike force. Or something like that. Or send another carrier into the patrolling group. Uh, destroyers are looking... They're doing actually very, very well. And these are doing okay as well. All right. Mobile defense, awesome. Well, we're going to continue doing this as, much, as long as we can. 390s, Jesus Christ. Land auction takes forever to do now. And the war, the world's been pretty quiet, except for Asia, of course. Japan is looking absolutely terrifying, but shang -Zi is holding out very well, compared to, especially compared to mainland China. That's a little troubling, I suppose. And didn't we have to build a factory here in New Mexico? Well, we've already done done it, so. That's interesting. Mexico, New Mexico only had 440,000 people living in there at one time. Representatives criticize the president. Well, I'm not really concerned about criticism at this moment. Oh god, I sound like a dictator. Arizona has less than half a million population. Ooh, convoy interdiction. Wow, that's a lot of naval XP. Holy cow. Great, so we got more torpedo reveal chance, surface detection, rating efficiency, and organization. Well, let's continue down this path, because we can always do this one, but we can't always do this. I don't know. Because there's a lot, there's a big line down this way. We get more naval targeting and better organization for light cruisers and carriers. Great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. You know what I like, or what I really love about this update? Well, I'll tell you in a little bit once we needed more repairs. No? Uh, let's see. You know what? Uh, cruiser hull, Washington. We need more chromium, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you're level 2. Before I tell you what I really love about this update. Oh, the carrier's repairing, okay. Uh, heavy... Actually, those heavy cruisers aren't too bad. They're the ones I'm making currently. They're not too bad, actually. But, like I said before, you want the composition to be one carrier, one heavy ship, and then four screens. And obviously, we, we've already met that ideal composition. But... I think... That's all. Before, we, before I make any rash judgment. So you have 10. 10 heavy cruisers isn't bad. We got a ton of destroyers here, though. So I'm really going to ignore this kind of. I want to put maybe a carrier in here, maybe eventually. Actually, that would be a really good idea. Go ahead and make it. That's what we'll build next. A carrier for that group. Carrier, carrier, carrier. We don't really have. I don't think we have any upgrades yet. So. And how many how many plants can this hold? 60? That's, that's not too bad. Uh, if I could reduce the number of doctors from someone here, it'd probably be the destroyer, since they're making so many so quickly. Oh, keep yours on nine? Keep yours on five. Keep yours on that many. So at least we're producing some, but it'll take forever. And this guy will be put in a fleet over here. Task Force 13? Uh, wait, subs. Yeah, you should be. Yeah, you're separated. Good. Um, does anyone have? They have a heavy cruiser. They all have some sort of heavy thing. That's a battleship and a light cruisers. Well, what's the weakest one? The weakest one would be the one with only seven destroyers. They have two heavy cruisers up here. So we'll do up task force fourteen for that carrier when it will someday be made. And we will also want to kind of max this out when we can. That'll be good. Alright, so now I will tell you what I really love about this update. It's just a minor thing, really. But I love to see the population of the world in different states and different provinces during this time. I mean, did you know that there were almost freaking 8 million people in Illinois? Jesus. I mean, of course, that's part of the industrial belt of the United States during this time. Ohio, of course, has a less, less population at almost 7. Michigan has 5. Indiana has almost nothing compared to them. Pennsylvania has 10 million. That's a lot of people. Just don't worry, guys. In about 30 to 40 years, you will suffer a, probably a population decrease, which is never good. Of course, international. 
New York has 13 million, including New York City. New Jersey has four. New England, well, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire. Probably forgot one in there. I already said Connecticut. Plus uh, 8.75 million, 0.74. Texas, being a large state, only a six. California hasn't really blossomed into what it will be known as. It's starting to be better known. And yes, I see the stack we have thing up here. Six plus, less than six million. I, I don't know why, I just love to see the population uh, growth or population of this time. And yes, I still want more civilian factories. Um, yeah. And sure, why not? Cool. And actually, we'll put you up here. So we're always constantly making more military factories. Uh, I know this isn't Victoria 2. Oh. But just seeing the population, all the different types of map modes they added in now. Well, a few more, of course. I really think that's like the first step to Victoria 3. I don't know why. I love Victoria 2. I'm not very good at it, but I, I really enjoy it. Let's see, we'll find orange. We'll find yellow. China's been in a state of civil war for more than a generation. There's no telling when the situation deteriorates to the point where we have to intervene. I'm going to do intervention in the Americas. Just because they are literally on my border. Oh, and Hungary renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Munich Agreement. And... Germany is looking more disgusting. Ah, coffee is great. And senator speaks out against government policy. Oh, we only lose up to four senators. That's not really a problem. Now let's get some more radar going, because it's still 1938. Very cool. We still have a ton of naval XP. We really should do some more stuff about naval stuff. Uh, let's check out Washington. Have we made anything new? Well, we've made a few more destroyers. Those are so easy to make. It's not even funny. Alright, so, we're back here again. Come to me in your time of need. I'm not going to get rid of this tra free trade because it's so good. More Plus 10% research speed, plus 15% construction speed, plus 15% factory output, dockyard output, but we do lose quite a bit of our resources, which, for the most part, is totally fine with me. I'm going to wait to make more medium tanks. I'll get Detroit Arsenal in the future. Naval stuff actually... Uh, no, I don't want to do Norfolk Navy Yard because I need the biggest deck size and range for my carriers and other ships. Atlantic Fleet. Oh, you get plus 50% more armor to capital to carriers and more armor to capital ships. Pacific Fleet Designer. Less armor, more range, more deck size. Oh, excuse me. It's a copy. Less deck size is a big no for me. So it's either Atlantic Fleet, which has only positives, or Pacific Fleet Designer, which has a slight negative to carriers, but they shouldn't be in the battle anyways. More range and more deck size, but for this we get a lot more armor, or 50% more armor, for carriers, and all of the capital ships have more heavy attack and more armor. As much as I love range, uh, I'm going to go with Brooklyn Naval Yard. Thank you, Brooklyn. It's nice knowing you, or really not knowing you. So I kind of growth. Uh, War Department, very cool. Can we do... Oh, we can do the Federal Housing Act, which honestly doesn't seem very good. I mean, all it does, is it, as part of our ongoing efforts to eradicate poverty in the United States, well, it's 2019, well, in this game it's 1938, we still have poverty, we will create a program of federally subsidized housing. Well, that's worked out really great for us. Uh, let's see. Lose some senators, we'll add some more building slots, which isn't bad, but it's definitely not the best thing you could have done. So basically, the, the left side of the tree here is not possible at the moment. Our force rotation. Um, and monarchism. Yeah, we're really going to focus on the right side of the tree here from here on out. Alright, so we've got this. We've got whatever this was. Oh, airplane stuff. Well, I do notice we have quite a bit of naval experience, so let's go ahead and finish that up first. Special measures. We still have so much support. It's not even funny. October. That's almost 1939. Mechanical range keeper. Yeah. Minus 15% reliability. That's a little bit too much, in my opinion, for me to really enjoy. But let's get some more construction speed. I don't mind having a little bit of a penalty to researching it that far ahead. But that's just me. And I love, I love this thing that you can just tell uh, convoys to avoid a certain area or just not go into a certain area because that will become very extremely handy when you're at war, my god. So, that's probably one of the best things added in, in this update, or DLC. I can't remember which one it was. I, I always buy the DLC for this game, because 
time. I'm a whale. I'm sorry, I'm a whale. I like I like Paradox a little bit. Not enough to buy all the DLC for like EU4 or CK2 though. No, 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 no. I'm not that crazy. Oh, elections of Congress. So every two years, we've already talked about this, a third of the Senate seats and all seats in the House of Representatives are up for election. Well, we'll see about that. People have spoken, whatever. And how many supporters did we lose? Oh my god, we had almost over 300 House supports. And now we have, we had, we had a potential to gain up to 25 more House of Representatives members, but we all got, was nine. Dang it, now I have to focus on politics again. Um, should we spend 50 political power for a few more representatives. Well, let's go with the medium lobbying effort. Get 10 senators, up to 10 senators, and 50 representatives. And I will currently choose this. So we got 10 more House of Representatives members. Ooh, oh, they. Now, I learned about this in high school. So American and British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft and separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front line in the war between Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked as an American vessel, the USS Panay was hit by two bombs and sunk. Well, there's the event. Intervention in the Americas. Uh, let's see. With three Americans and one Italian citizen killed and others wounded in a separate attack on HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. Both the American and British governments have issued strong protests. This incident highlights the increasing tension between the three foremost naval powers. So, basically, I already read it. I'm not going to reread it. So, withdraw our forces from China. Huh. Copy is good. The, pu the public are deeply concerned about foreign entanglements. This incident would never have happened if our servicemen weren't in China in the first place. God, that sounds like today. Jesus Christ. Withdrawing the small number of gunboats. Well, okay, we don't have a small number of gunboats today. And personnel in China would help re help improve domestic stability. Although it would also draw us further away from the future military intervention. So we lose war support, getting more stability, get a little more political power, and opinion of Japan goes down. Or we demand compensation. We, we put to the Japanese government, and we should await their response. We get more war support. War. While our stronger industrial base is a key advantage, low public support would make war a risky proposition and limit our capacity to become involved in other global developments. We get a claim on all those Japanese islands and gain topple war government. Well, honestly, we did lose three citizens of ours. That's not enough for me to go to war with, and that's not the historical way, and we're trying to be historical here. Yeah, stability goes down by 30%, and we lose almost all of our war support. So we're going to demand compensation. You kill one of our people? Well, we demand compensation. Um, reaffirm Monroe Doctrine. Increases trade opinion with all American nations. Unlock intervention mandate decisions. Dating back over 100 years, the Monroe Doctrine codified U.S. intervention in the case of a European attempt to colonize the Americas. But we will stay out of European affairs. I want to do that. I, don't, I really don't have plans to annex Mexico, but I'm not ruling it out. They, they're not gonna build, the, they're not gonna pay for the wall. We'll bring the wall to them. Alright, that's how it works, right? Uh, go ahead and repair, guys. I don't want you to be too injured. I will, the, the fleet that we are making in Washington will be part of the Asiatic fleet. If you were wondering, that's what I'm gonna do. And we have a light cruiser here. I need a heavy cruiser. And Japan agrees to compensation from the Japanese ambassador. Uh, while public attitudes in the U.S. towards Japan will be influenced by these events for some time to come, war has been averted. Why is this over here and not over here? Thankfully, Japan saw reason. Ah, compensation includes a hundred more political power. Don't you love compensation? <laughs> Grand statehood of Puerto Rico. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. I will build in your territory, but I will not grant you statehood. All right, so I really think I need a, maybe a few more heavy ships here. Of course, we don't have enough of this. Uh, destroyers. I love destroyers and all, but we really need more dockyards. How is this coming along? Oh, we need more naval bombers, too. It's coming along okay. I want another dockyard, though. 70, 70, 70, 70, 80. Cool. And we've got so much naval XP. It's so good to see that. Oh, Senate Committee investigates shipbuilding in Mississippi, prided by a senior senator from Mississippi. The Senate Commerce Committee has begun hearings into the state of local shipbuilding industry. According to the experts, great American experts, a significant percentage of U.S. trade depends on overseas trade and the country is desperately lacking in shipbuilding capacity. Mississippi has been identified as a region in which a major investment could be made or should be made, and several committee members have expressed an expectation from, that the administration of FDR will set funds aside for this. Well, I'm FDR. I like to spend money that we don't have. So, we're going to spend everything that we have. 
Not this, but critical weakness. Invest in shipbuilding industry in Mississippi. I did not know that that actually happened before. That should be historical, so. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't remember this being part of the New Deal, but I'll take it. Oh, I actually have to complete it. Well, I just invested in Pennsylvania, guys. Come on. So, but we'll get more support if we build there. I really think that this game could use more... Actually, we're going to de decrease this because since we're building over here, I don't want this to take too long. I wish this game did feature more resources, like I've said before. Because I think it would just be better overall. It's almost... Honestly, it's almost 1939. I'm going to go ahead and start researching all the 1939s, 1939 technologies. I don't want to be kept behind. And Naval Doctrine, while great as it is, and I love it, a large portion of it can wait for the future. Uh, Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. All right then, guys. Uh, I want to amend the budget, but we need more support to do that. Oh, I want small lo lobbying effort. Has not selected medium lobbying effort. Oh, we're still waiting for this. Oh, two days. And now we almost have we have half of the support of the House now, and a lot of the Senate support. Awesome. It's almost 1939. I'm going to do this one. I know it's not part of the industry, but it does unlock the next step for radar in our Navy. That's important. So now we have more support. I'm going to do the same thing again, so I have even more support. Oh, it's synthetic oil experiments. Or, ex yeah, experiments. Let's do that, and we will go with more industrial technology. Because nothing says America like technology. Well, I don't know about that. Other nations are pretty good technology, like the Germans, the French aren't too bad, the British are pretty good, the Spanish aren't terrible, the Italians could be interesting, uh, and other countries are pretty good at times, too. We need a lot more guns, though. I actually need to switch up my template, though, because I'm still on this old, outdated template of this 18 combat width. I need more artillery, but I don't have the manufacturing center that to really do that. Let's see. I, I want that factory output, industrial research speed, so we'll do something else. We will be focusing on guns, artillery, and stuff like that, but aircraft? Aircraft research speed. It's not 1940 yet, so I can ignore that. No, we'll, we'll get some more guns. Springfield Armory, and let's finish up this last doctrine, or this Monroe Doctrine and Foci before we're done with this episode. Alright, nine more days. What can we do in nine days? Well, we can grind a crap ton more naval experience. Love it. And we're almost there. We need we need a lot of guns, but I need I need the ships to be filled out a little bit more. And there we go. So we filled out the reaffirm Monroe Doctrine. War plan great. What is this? His oh, nations of the Caribbean we might be able to attack. Hemisphere defense. Reciprocal assistance. I want to go to war with Mexico. Anyways, I know it's not very historical, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I don't think I can attack them because they have Oh, I've got a lot of divisions here. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. We have progressed through 1938. We are finally in 1939. We are making good decisions here. We're watching the world slowly unfurl into a mess, especially in the East and potentially in Europe. So with that in mind, guys, thank you for watching me play some more Hoi 4 today. I don't know why I said that. Thanks for watching me play with politics, because, you know, American politics is just it depends on how much money you have. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow as we may watch Europe go to war. Thank you very much for watching.